Alright, we're back with another GPD win video. Today I'm going to cover a few uh, retro shooters. On the lineup we have Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition, which was requested by the Blue Mantis on YouTube. So thank you for that. And I've also got System Shock 2 and Shadow Warrior Classic Redux. A few other shooters, but we'll get to those at another time. Alright, we'll start with System Shock 2. I just tested it and set it up. It's running at 1280 by 720. All the other settings are pretty much standard. For some reason, when the game loads to full screen, it cycles the LCD. It like changes the resolution, which shuts it off briefly, and as I think the Fox mentioned in some of his videos, when the LCD shuts off, the uh, fan also shuts off, which is kind of odd. We'll zoom in here. Alright. Go new game. Easy, just for the sake of this demonstration. And options. Now since if I'll leave alone, audio is fine, game options, easy. Alright, start game. And this is running in mouse mode. Uh, the D-pad is working as WASD joystick. That's mouse, obviously, for it working. Uh, I'm sure those of you who have played this game January have probably the seen this. So we'll get to the actual gameplay. <laughs> Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch um, your... I don't think there was an option for displaying FPS. I should probably look that up. Step when leaving the train. The ground shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment oh, center. Please my proceed opinion. to the ground shafts. It doesn't look that bad. Step into the ground shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. I'm not noticing any noticeable lag. Well, obviously. I wish I had some game saves on here. So that we could actually do something cool. <laughs> Follow the red path along the ground to the next 
train station. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can the joysticks are a little sensitive, so fine movements are a little difficult. Blah 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 blah. Like buttons and computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All, All right, you get the idea of this one. It does run. It doesn't seem like to lag noticeably or anything. I've no doubt it'd be pretty much perfectly playable. And uh, once again, the LCD shuts off and then turns back on. All right, uh, Duke Nukem 3D and. Shadow Warrior both recognize X input mode, which makes them a little bit nicer to play. I haven't had a chance to configure the controls on some of the other games. And I also know both of these I can turn on an FPS counter, so. They run very, very well. Run X input mode. New game, LA Meltdown. Let's rock. Yeah. Alright, you can see the counter up in the top corner here. Focus, please. You need a now. No. Well, I'll just read it to you. Uh, 170, 180 FPS. Uh, I could turn on V-Sync, and it runs just fine with it, or without it. Uh, sometimes it hits north of 200 frames a second, 230 frames a second. The games run perfect. Uh, very playable. I do, however, use auto aim because the uh, joysticks, like I said, are very sensitive. So aiming accurately uh, on distant targets or even up close targets is not always as easy to be easy to do as like with an Xbox One controller, for example. But of course, you can always use a Bluetooth controller with this. So it's not a huge issue if you are worried about that sort of thing, I guess. Uh, you get the idea. Run around wreck some dudes' days. Oh, try and center the screen here a little bit better. Duke skipped leg day. Ugh, this sucks. It's time to kick ass and kick ass, and I'm a lot of kick ass. Alright. On to Shadow Warrior. Which, if anything, I'm even worse at. I'm trying to keep this video to 10 minutes, so this is going to be a pretty short demonstration. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about these particular games. They run good. They're fun to play. Do it. They're cheap. Pretty sure I got them in a Humble Bundle or something like that a few years back. And coming up after this we'll do some Xbox One streaming tests. Kind of show you what that like. The game into the way. A ninja knows no fear. Zero sins is regards no way. Oh, steam is wanting to pop through. That's weird. I didn't do that before.
We'll get back to that in a second. The task manager needs to go away. Oh, that's different. <laughs> oh, I crashed it. Alright, we'll try that again. And this game is also running 160, 180, 190 frames per second. So obviously this GPD win is not going to struggle to play uh, games of this vintage. It runs 